Hello everyone! Welcome to Tooth and Tail. This game is going to be coming out sometime in the near future. As you can see, it's not uh, currently finished yet. And very soon in this video, I'm going to be jumping into a multiplayer match with uh, Surreal. And we're, we just kind of dive right into it without really explaining the game mechanics. So before we get to that part of the video, I wanted to try and just uh, explain a little bit so you can hopefully follow along with what is going on. So I'm going to dive into a match with a bot... There we go. Uh, there are four different factions, although as far as I can tell, they all play the same. They just have different color palettes, and your leader is going to look different, as far as I can tell. Um, so we'll just click Hopper Hero, put him on Train Dummy, because this is not a, a real match. So, when you jump into a game, you kind of build the army that you want. And every single one of these awesome-looking creatures, they have different attacking, defensive stats. They have a different range, range of vision, um, the purpose in the army is a little different, like these guys are just a massive amount of basic shooters, these guys get up in your face and throw spears, these frogs blow themselves up for massive AoE damage but they have relatively like low defense, um, these pigeons will fly over your army and heal you, this crazy badger has a minigun, this dude has a flamethrower, it's like it's really cool, so you pick up the six different units here, so we'll just do that and then you queue up and go. And then the whole purpose of this game is that it is going to be a PvP game. In the bottom left, you will see the amount of food that we have. Food is generated by these farms that these pigs will automatically work as you um, build a new farm. You can see I can queue another one up for 60 food, and we'll do that right now. And this is a very fast PvP game. You can see the mini-map on the bottom left, and you want to go around and claim other farms, and so then you can build around them and get your economy up faster, and then you just keep exploring and claim another one like this one. And each farm that you claim will expand this area of influence mine's going to be the um the blue line and anything within the blue border you can then build what's called the burrows so i can kind of select my different um, units that i chose so let's just pick up this engineer for hire you can see their cost is going to be 60 the time to make one of them is 10 so we're just going to start building that and you can see the progress bar there i'll also build some healer bots the supply count shows you how many you're going to get in one building. So I'm going to build one of these. They're going to cost 20 each, and they're going to take 10 seconds to build each, up to a maximum of 3 for this burrow, I believe is what it's called. And if I want more healing pigeons, well then I will just spend more of our food to make another one. So then I'm going to have 6 in my army total. As you can see below the unit icon in the bottom center, you can see now I have 0 of 6. And over the 10 seconds it's going to build, it automatically pulls from my food economy that again these pigs are generating. Let's queue up another farm. And, um, well, I think that's probably enough for now. So, you can individually select units and tell them what to do by holding down the L2 button. So there you go, you guys see that he can move here. Very minimal controls. If you want to select everything in your army that's currently around, you hit the R2 button. If you hold down R2, everything will hold its fire. Otherwise, if you just tap it, they're going to attack anything on the way to the whatever location you tell them to. So, like, I can separate them by pressing... Whoops. There we go. So, I press L2 over there. Then let me have these healing pigeons over here with L2. Or we can just kind of do that. So, again, I'm just doing this so you can follow along with the combat because it gets pretty fast. Let me go over here, spend some money to claim this farm. I'm going to claim that right there. It's going to expand our area of influence. And then... Um, we can drop down some more buildings down here if we want to. Now, something else to keep in mind, the farms will run out of food after a while. So, again, that's why this is kind of a fast-paced game. You can't really turtle up because they will run out of food very quickly. So, it kind of forces you to expand and get new farms, which we're just going to expand out here. And I'm sure the AI is out there somewhere, but it's on training dummy, so it's not really going to be firing at us. Um, and then we can build this bullet hive. I took a defensive structure, so you can see that our border is now pressed out here, and this is going to be the range of this defensive structure. So let's put it on the edge. It's going to build up an automatic attack anything within range. This kind of does a similar thing, but has a lot of vision to it. Does the AI actually have any kind of army? Let's see. So I would like to show off the attacking. I guess it's not really crucial. But yeah, so the flow of this game, you go around, you claim more farms, the enemy can destroy your farm and then claim it for themselves and then build their individual farm plots around that building and it's just a very fast paced multiplayer game. Kind of reminds me, only because of how fast it is, it kind of reminds me of how fast like Cannon Brawl used to be and I really enjoyed that game so this game is pretty awesome. So with that all said and now that you can hopefully kind of follow along with what is going to be happening, uh, let's jump into the actual main multiplayer match here with Surreal.
Hi everyone, my name is Surreal Beliefs, and welcome to Tell in Tooth. I have with me Tokshin. Hey Tokshin. Hello, Surreal Beliefs, or AKA Chairman Squeaks. How are you doing today? Yeah, that's actually my only name now that I will go by. So from now on, I will be Chairman Squeaks, and I believe in a better future for us all. But to let you know, what we're playing here is a real-time strategy game set in a world of animal revolution. You have four factions. I'm part of the KSR, and it's going to have very competitive fast matches online which is what we can play right now there's going to be a story mode but if you're into a bunch of very fast-paced multiplayer action here you go right here and i guess we'll go ahead and start all right so yeah, we got what we're looking at right oh sorry i didn't mean to cut you off oh, um fine. what we're looking at right now is just selecting what you use in the game so you won't get the same stuff every time provided you don't pick them they have their own unique abilities and how they fight in combat okay I don't know if I want to tell you what I'm going to pick up. <laughs> yeah, because this is definitely going to be a game of, like, I think you could lose just based on what you pick. Like, you, there's probably, like, hard counters and all that stuff. Right. I'm not sure what they are yet, but as I was telling you before we even began to record, I just love the art style. It just reminds me of so many things that I've either watched via film or books, too. And I can't even remember their names. I just remember growing up watching stuff like that. I don't yeah, like that. um American Tale, Five of Goes West, like all those animal yeah. things that came out, yeah. Oh man, don't even talk about that. I'm sad now. I need to go watch that again. All of it. <laughs> so I'm just looking at this artwork, man. This artwork is so good. Yeah, um, I just love it. Okay, alright. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's, let's do this. Okay. The music. Oh so good. Here we go. So to let you know, we're playing a PC, but you can play with an actual controller, whatever you want. I'm using a 361, and Toshin's using a PS4 controller. Yes. All right. So I don't know if you want to like go over the basic premise of how the game works here. Um. Yeah. So down in the bottom left, you're going to see the food that we are currently generating by our awesome pig workers. You use that food to build burrows that your units will automatically spawn from as well as building more farms for your pigs to um, work and with that food you can then support your army and it's pretty simple um, I think that's the only real currency in the game correct just the food right yeah yeah and okay then you and then you after your army. right um, you'll build like what's called a burrow and they'll begin to produce men or well not men but you get my point and then uh, they'll produce a cap of so many men, like let's say two. And if you want to build more, then you need to build another burrow. And they'll continue to produce men, but each time they do, they'll begin to lose food. So you constantly need food, and you will run out of food over time. Oh, yes, these pigs will work these farms dry. So you, that forces you to go out into the world and expand using these other, um, what they call grist mills. Right. I'm not saying that I just claimed one. But, I'm know, not I'm saying just... that I did too. Hmm. Well, I'm because glad I'm we're not... both not saying that. Because I'm not all about taking down the proletariat. So. <laughs> or, or I meant to say the bourgeois. Uh huh. But I might be. I really do like right. your your mouse character. She is pretty. Is it a she? I believe it is. Yeah, and oh, yeah. I love her. Like she's not my favorite character that I've seen in a long time. Like just the artwork load kills me. And hopefully you. Like, I hope it kills you in a friendly type of way. Oh, of course. We're all friendly here. Yeah. yeah. But it also seems like with each new grist mill, it expands your area of influence, and then you can build your burrows, like, further into the level. Wait, you can see, why like, do that you know that? I thought you didn't build one. I mean, if. If you were right. to yeah. claim them. Okay. Know. All right. Yeah. That isn't so bad. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm not actually building any burrows. I'm just talking about them. I didn't think you would. Yeah. I'm a pacifist by nature. <laughs> right. Because you're an old rat. Or mouse? Um, no, rat. I rat? Think you're rat? Mouse? I don't know. I'm an old Mouse dude. rat? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. There's a few good things here that I can't wait to show you. Yeah. There's some good things I can't wait to show you either. Hold on. Day. I don't think I want to see them. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what all these units do yet, because we kind of just started this game, but it's... Yeah. You'll, you'll see, it's so good. 
It's really good. The combat caught me off guard. I was like, oh man, that's pr that's pretty brutal. It's uh, kind of rough. Okay. I think what I'll do, I'll bring that in. Yeah. That's a good oh idea. Oh. No. I just found out something Stop. cool about my unit that I can't talk about because then it gives it away. No. I don't like any of that. Oh. You'll find out. Listen. I think you'll find out in just a moment as well. Things are uh, good here. In this world. Come on. Yeah. Listen, the chairman has a quota to reach. I don't need you getting in the way of that. <laughs> okay, I hope they're not blocked. I hope I didn't block my own units from spawning. Wait, it's stalled. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, I see. Let's go have a look around here. See what's going on in the world. Oh! Oh! I saw Salutations, you. Usurper! Hello! Oh! Oh, come here so off. good! <laughs> Let me see. I think I blocked my own buddy. Hold on. No, no, they take time. I see. Come on, get out of here, buddy. And Oh! This is good. What? Why? What are you doing? Nothing. Mm, I don't believe you. It's not important. It's not mm, important. I don't believe you. Oh boy. Hey, what, oh? what is this? What? What? It's a peace treaty. I think you should leave. I think you should leave. Wait! No, 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 no. Oh! They're invisible! They're invisible till they attack! Wait, wait. Oh! Oh! oh my god! What the fuck are those? I have mini guns! Why do you have mini guns? Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh my god, please. Stop killing my pigs! Oh. Oh, okay, we're gonna, have to talk. we're gonna have to talk about this here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you have mini guns. That's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> what man? Have you never seen a badger with the mini gun? No. Listen, what are you doing here? What? Why is there a farm there? Hold on, it's a farm over here. No, 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 no. Burn him alive! Get him! No! Get him, Uncle Butter! Get him, Uncle Butter! Oh. I don't like Uncle Butter. Dude, Uncle Butter's the Get best. Get mini gun. Get mini gun. Oh no. Oh okay, no. Okay, go back, Uncle Butter. Uncle Butter! Yeah, no. No, it's Uncle over. Butter, it's no! over. It's my farm now. Fuck! Oh. No, my farm. I just built that. <laughs> oh. I think they're burning bodies like blow up in the air too. That's terrible. Do you have a wolf that's healing your forces? Yes, I do. Oh, He's my jewel sergeant. Oh no. <laughs> you should have joined the working class when you had the chance, old man. <laughs> Wait, I can't jump back up here? Oh crap. Okay, that's not good. Oh, oh burn! No. Get away. Oh burn! Get away. I don't like any of that. Come on. Oh. It's taking forever. Okay. I, okay, this is good. So trying to figure out what all these people do. Yeah. They all have their own unique abilities. Oh, yeah, to let all of you know, you can control individual groups. It can be a bit tricky when you're like in a mix of it, but yeah, you can definitely do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I'm just saying you probably should have gone with the minigun. The minigun's pretty cool. It's pretty good. I feel like I could see. Yeah, I could see you. I know what you're doing around here. What? 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 Get out. I know what's up. <gasps> you have artillery? 
I have artillery, baby. Go over here, boys. Get him, boys! Oh! 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 Okay, oh, we got no. the artillery run! We got the artillery run! Nope. Drag him to the turrets! Burn him! Get him! Burn get him! Oh! Oh no! Oh yes, what? get that wolf! Get that no, wolf! No, you beat him! Get that wolf! How'd you beat him so easily? That's no. Uncle Butters! That flamethrower is ridiculous! No, you're killing my troops! Get him, right, pull pigs! Back. Pull back! Pull back! Pull back! That artillery oh, is no. nasty. Yeah, it is. Get out of here with that. I don't have time for that. Okay, we're gonna have to have a talk about what you've been doing. What are you doing? Wait. You're just what? dancing around it. <laughs> Get a wow. chameleon! Get a chameleon! Wow. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Shoot. I'm actually in huge trouble now. I spent too much on this fucking turret. Oh no. I spent a lot on the turret. I didn't think it was that much. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sell a few things now. I'm too broke. Chameleons, go! Oh no. It's, oh, you have so many of them! That, I that know. was a really good idea. Oh no. I didn't know how much they would pay off when I recruited them, obviously, but... I thought I had you, but no, you got me now. Oh no, I'm dead. This is oh, it. kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh! Get him! He's over here! He's over here! Oh. Let me, uh... Oh no, I'm starving now. We don't have food anymore. It's okay, I will feed you. Just give up and no. your people... Are those little squirrels with guns? Yeah. Okay. These flamethrowers <laughs> are ridiculous, dude. Oh my god. Listen, it's just Uncle Butters. I don't like Uncle Butters. He needs, he needs to get out of here. Oh, get you out of here with that too. garbage. Yeah, just not as many. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I'm going to let people know before I did win the previous match. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> I don't want to hear yes, it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You did oh, no. the previous match. Those artillery guns, oh, man. No. I was so lucky I got chameleons in my army because, holy shit, those, those were wrecking me. We need to look at the... Stuff here real quick. Like it was pretty equal. Then about nine minutes in, you skyrocketed, and I can tell you why. I was an idiot. I didn't go for a theme. I was like, my artillery will be enough, and no, it was not. That was a bad idea. I mean, um, they do call them the Chameleon Siege Breakers for a reason. No, income no, wise, you that. you like peaked at five, and then we both went down. I went down pretty hard. Um, army value, yeah, you skyrocketed at the very end. You just overwhelmed me. That was ridiculous. That should have been my job. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, this is a great thank game. you for watching. Yeah, watching, check it out down below. Until then.